today I will talk about uh, speedy MVP development. Uh, kind of like how do you build a product, a perfect product, like in 10 hours or one, uh, one day, or like in a, a month. So given the estimate time, and you can build the perfect product. So a little about me. Um, I'm uh, right now. I'm uh, I'm work in the Go School, and I'm the founder of Go School. We teach uh, Ruby on Rails, and I also the organizer of Rails Taiwan. And uh, the last Pacific, I'm also the organizer. Now, right now, my full-time job is like kind of software development coach, and uh, I also, also uh, my primary language is also Ruby on Rails. I start using Ruby on Rails since 2007, and I am also a hacker. Okay, speaking to, uh, speaking to hacker, so you may think, why can I call myself hacker? Uh, you, um, I may not like a hacker, but I used to want a uh, work hack, hack song, uh, in 2012, and uh, I'm the world champion. Uh, this is real. This is Dr. Mark Zuckerberg, not a Photoshop picture. <laughs> I, this is T-Tech in the hex square. Okay, so that makes me kind of like qualified to talk about this topic, uh, how to build a product like in very limited time. So first, speaking to Rails, what can, uh, what can come across your mind? So what would you want to enter the Rails world? I think the main reason is like you think Rails is fast, so you want to like run Rails, and uh, so you can work no overtime. But when you finally enter the Rails world, it's, you you find out you still work overtime. So uh, the too many jobs and uh, like burnouts. So why? Because Rails only guarantee you can build things very fast, but it didn't. It didn't, it didn't guarantee you been since. Uh, it didn't guarantee you get you can get the right right project if, uh, direction. So today's topic, so it's not about like how exactly about building rails with agile approach. It's instead I will talk about how to win, uh, how to win a hex song for take hex song for example to teach you how to do the right project management and how to how to make you uh, like Rails, make uh, make you a better Rails developer, to deliver the project on time. So speaking of how to win to Hexo, so so how, how, how do we think to how to win a Hexo? So the answer is probably very, uh, the answer probably is you build the great PowerPoint, and then you can win. So <laughs> many people are very, ang uh, are very ang angry about this, but this is truth. So uh, typically, a uh, hex uh, uh, winner will come out with following results. Result. The number one is like you have the great pitch deck. The second one is you have a right product, and uh, the product's purpose is good for uh, press release because like if a bank throw out a hex song, you may probably the, the first one uh, for, uh, first place probably will be like a mobile hack and can pay something easily so the product must uh, like make their expectation and also you should finish the product even with like the prototype so it's kind of like you when you want to build a product what is uh, like a great product it's like you also need to like a great pitch take so can you can tell your customer your uh, your scenario is uh, your value and uh, the project must like meet MVP dimension minimum viable product so that and uh, this product must like can quickly success and deliver deliver the feature on time where the market needs it so so Fighting a hex zone is kind of like you building a great product in less than 10 hours. So, let, so that's why I will choose today's topic, like 
building how to win the hackathon. Like for example, take this example to explain it how to exactly manage your project. So how do we win in 2012? So the product we built in 2012 is we built a service called paperclip.io. This is a like FB share links bookmark service. So we usually save a lot of links on the, our, our Facebook we will like, but uh, the, in the old Facebook, so after two weeks and three weeks, you will forget how, what, uh, which amazing article uh, you browsed in several weeks ago. So I think this is terrible. So I built, so that day I built this topic to become our top uh, project. So this, this feature uh, later it become the built-in feature in 2014, 14. so if you use the Facebook now, they, they already have this feature. So why we will win in four years ago? Because uh, in that day, we have the perfect pitch deck and with perfect product and we built it and per, uh, perfect in seven hours. So how, how do we manage to do, do this? So what we use Rails, of course, because if you want to win a hexon, you build a mill, uh, you, you need to be build things first, uh, things very fast. So, but I think why we will win is, uh, is uh, more about, uh, more about like time management. Before this hexon, I, I, I like building stuff. So I attend a lot of hexon but I always lose. Why I'm lose? Because the number one, I didn't have the perfect deck. I built a crappy deck. So every time I lose. So second is every time I run out of the time, so I have the crappy demo. And uh, the, the, fi the, the final reason is like I have crappy idea. I always build something I think I'm co is very cool, but the judge thinks it is sucks. <laughs> so, how we, we how how we do in uh, 2012? So this time, I really want to win because I think if uh, that time I'm building a consultancy, I think if I win the prize, then I can get more business. So I must win this year. So I realize uh, every time I I lose is because for this reason: crappy idea, crappy pitch deck, and the crappy idea. So I think what can can we build this time? So uh, I find out the number one re uh, reason for, for me to lose is I don't, didn't have time to build everything at all in the given timetable. So I find out, so we sh I should check how many resources before I start. So the timetable is, this is a ten, uh, ten this is a seven hours hexagon. So start at night and uh, end at uh, uh, 6 p.m. So we only have seven hours to build this product. Uh, in uh, this time, uh, the time of the seven hours also include lunch time and uh, bathroom time. But this is not really we have. So I want to win this time. So the important thing is I need to give a very great pitch presentation. So in order to do this, I must finish my pitch deck. If it, this takes one hour and the practice. And uh, before that, I need to build a great product. So I must t to like take some screenshot. So it only left me five hours. So you might think this is not possible. Five hours. How many things you can build in five hours? You probably will think Oh, probably I can build five feature in five feature in five hours, but turn out we only build one one major feature because like in Hexon, if you are too greedy, it will be Mur Murphy view, uh, Murphy law curse curse. And when you think you only have uh, one bug, actually you will take, get ten bucks and uh, you will like <laughs> like bug song. So, uh, because I always like run out of the time in the previous hack song, so this time I learned something smart is 
we, sh we should only focus on one feature and the graffiti to the perfect. So I start thinking, what topic should I build? So I think I, I wanted this fe feature very bad and uh, in the has Facebook, so probably I should build this. And in order to build this idea, like I, I need to build several infrastructure, like we, we need to, to save our links. So I, so the features we want to build, we need to build is like URL feature and the background job to crawl out of all of the links and with a simple design. So this, so we finally build this uh, service. And uh, the second is we start to plan our power schedule. And uh, at the beginning, uh, we spend 30 minutes to discuss this idea. We decide to only build one idea and one feature. Then we spend the next 30 minutes to let's set up the developer workflow, like Git and the uh, Capstrano deployment for the continuous de uh, deployment. The reason we do this is because you always fail at the final moment. You cannot deploy your website. So this time we take smarter approach. We can, uh, so I set up the continuous deploy deployment at the first place. So then we will like fail at the, the final moment. Then third, third is like build a uh, major feature. So I split the time, like before lunch, we build a uh, major, uh, major feature because our core feature is too simple. So we build, so we can finish all the feature before the 12 o'clock. And uh, the reason we need to, to finish it all before lunch is because I will do something very evil. So at the lunch, I, I do something very evil. It's like we, at, uh, at the lunch, we already have this demo. So when the lunch time, instead I eat, I am not eating lunch. I take my laptop to show off people and make them devastated. So you will lose, <laughs> I win. <laughs> Okay, and the the four the fourth stage after lunch, I starting to do this because I always fail at the last moment. Like, like when the judge press the website, he always boom. So I spend a lot of times like giving this demo to my Facebook friends, ask them to help me to test. Then I find a lot of bugs. For example, we need to save a lot of links on the Facebook, but our background job is not fast enough. So I build a parallel algorithm to make it faster. So when you like import your links, it, the result will show instantly instead of like dun, 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 dun. <laughs> and, uh, and we also take some time to like have built some several minor details and uh, building the landing page. Uh, and the step five is like finalize the product. And, uh, and after, implement the minor features. My face, uh, Facebook friends friend, uh, tell me, I don't know what stuff you are building. So I realized we, we not only need to do a presentation deck, we also build my, our landing page. So I spend some time to, uh, to build our landing page, then make our presentation. So, and uh, pitch, and then pitch at the final. So why we want eventually? Because like we we spend a lot of times uh, pr practicing our pitch deck and the demo. And the, the in the hack song, it's not what it's what you build is not the first reason. Like if you want to want uh, like he programmers hate to lose, but the presentation, the pitch, the demo is the most important. And the second of all, we only build one product, uh, one product, one feature, and uh, this product with a uh, must be meaningful. What I picked this topic is because I think this, I want this feature, and also I think Facebook needed this feature, so I built it. And uh, we and uh, we spent three hours, like I say, I we spent three hours to predict this project. So by the presentation, uh, presentation time, 
our product is already 100 product production ready. And, but what others do? This is typical programmers will do. Uh, if you want it, uh, other, what people will do in Hexon. First, when they arrive the menu, they spend one hour discussion. Then they will sit and uh, then we'll spend another hour to discussion for discuss for 10 ideas. Then they will decide to narrow down to six major features. And uh, then they will start coding. Then uh, af after discussion, they will spend all the time to build all the stuff. Then at uh, like, like five, five o'clock or like the end, they will realize they can build and all. So they decide to drop to only two major features because they cannot complete all. If they want to complete all, they will run out of time. So I just pick the two crappy major features. So they will, they will, like, after, after coding, they also will save time for, like, the pitch deck. But since they don't finish all the features and uh, they also didn't finish most of the deck, so when they come out the stage, the, the first thing they will say is, sorry, I, I run out of time. Apology for their unfinished work. Then when the judge press their website, boom, 500 zero. So that's what typical people do. The difference between me and the lamb is I, sp I spend only half of the time to develop a feature, but they spend the most of the time to develop a feature, but also include non unnecessary features. Uh, but I save a lot of time to practice and craft my product to the, to the perfect state. So by the, uh, by the end, my progress is 100, but their progress is probably like 16, uh, 60. So let's why peep other people didn't win. So let's set, uh, spend, uh, they spend a lot of time of like unnecessary features. So that's not uh, the only technique, uh, that's not the only tech, I only use the hexon. Usually uh, I manage all my project uh, in, in the same method. The way I manage my, my project is not like, like a typical pitfall. I always, I always do the same method. Like first, I will count how many resources do I have. For example, if a client dedicate a project to me, like say I have like three months to build the project. So I will, I will estimate how many resources we, do I have. Then I, the first thing I will do is like save the, the, the next month of acceptance testing. Because if we didn't have save this time for practice or acceptance testing, uh, finally, at the final, I probably will be get sued. Something uh, like this. Because like uh, the project fail is not like we run out of time, it's probably like because you build something completely wrong or like uh, over time, over budget. So I think the save the last month for safe testing is extremely important. And then I, w then I will split the, the other eight weeks for two, three milestones. The, uh, the first milestone is like do the groundwork and find out what risk in my project and step up the, the continuous deploy. And uh, in, the, in, in the meantime, I can like go through the user story and uh, to prioritize the user story. Then the, the second phase, I will build implement the major function and uh, the, the project's uh, major workflow to find out what risks we have and uh, what features we needed to dump to complete the major goal of this project. And uh, the last, uh, the third phase, uh, then I will implement the major functions like improve usability and uh, style the, the project to make it like, much beautiful or much useful. In this, in this eight week, I, will ca I, I can continue to figure out where the risk and uh, what the architecture uh, we can improve or have. So, then by the last, the, the last month, 
we can craft the we can make the product to do the per perfect. So you you will not over time. You have plenty of time to make the project succeed and the very and the meet the expectation. So what do I do? Hexon is simply adapt these techniques. So I list my timetable. If I want to like present in six o'clock, so I must finish the presentation at the five o'clock. So by if I want to give a pitch take in, uh, if I want to do a pitch take, I must finalize my product in the four o'clock. So then before that, I also need a one hour to debug. So I must finish all my product to before the three o'clock. So I split use like 12 o'clock to become the middle line. So I must complete m most of the major feature in the, in the, at the 12 o'clock. Then I can have a major demo to my stakeholder to make sure it looks good or give them uh, confidence. And after that, I can, I can like go through the de user story detail to make things right. So in, if you want to build a, a successful story, I think this talk I want to tell is instead of you build your product in waterfall way, what you should should do first is you should define what what is the success of your project. For example, if the this is a hexon, if what you must find out what is success for the judge. For example, judge don't have time to go through your project or your presentation, so you must make them feel good. So you have be very, uh, you ha you can have like very be beautiful pitch deck, or you must make sure your project didn't fail at when the demo time. So this is the success. It's not matter how your project is cool or something. People will, the judge of Hexon won't give the first place to cool but useless or cool but uh, uh, not good for put on the newspaper. So you must, you, you, if you want to win the Hexon or the completion for the pro, uh, project goal, you must find out what stakeholders stakeholders care about and based on the definition to prioritize your use stories priority. And the second is find out what is your major features. If uh, the major feature means the features you must have, you the feature must should should have, uh, did it all could have and uh, nice to have. Typically if you if you do overtime in your project, probably if the number one reason is you do too much could have and the nice to have project in the first place, then you run out of time. And uh, for my uh, my approach is like I will save the first one third for accept, uh, September, the, for the final accept testing and the back, do the backward and the split the rest of the two third to another three milestone. The first mile, the first milestone is like for ground works. The second one is like for major, major feature, and the third one is like for for the minor features. Then I can make my available and the rehearsal time as much as possible. So, so this approach can. Uh, this approach can make sure you have plenty of time to think about and. Uh, do the detail without, uh, without over, uh, over promise or uh, like over two opportunities. So the reason I'm doing this because the project fail is this is will like no more developers will do. If you have 90 days to do a 90 days product, you probably won't fin build the product at all because. Uh, if uh, you you have like 90 days or like uh, 180 days, it probably will spend all the time for like planning. The typical internet company always like this like kind of tragedy. So we have six months, and the PMs spend five months for planning. Then 
after five months, they give a proposal to the designer and say, we only have one month. And uh, the designer spent uh, three weeks to build all the mock-up, tell engineers you only have one week to <laughs> implement all the features. <laughs> so why I'm doing this? Because, uh, because there are too much times, so people are too optimized about the milestone. The way I'm doing this, because I can use these techniques, I can cut down, I can make the available like looks very little. Like uh, in this method, I only have 60 days to build the features. Then I will, I, I, then I will think the time is very urgent. So I will dump all the feature, uh, feature that's unnecessary. So if you do this, your timetable and the priority will change it very significantly. So you will delete all nice to have and could have feature to focus on actually MVP. When you finish the MVP, you have plenty of time to can implement that instead of like spending too much time on different, uh, on wrong direction. Okay. So people always say Rails is fast, but in my opinion, the truth is if you didn't deliver something right, nobody will think uh, Rails is fast. So let's the the thing I learned in my software career. Okay, this is my talk. Thanks, everyone. Okay, uh, a, a little self promotion. I have a new book uh, called Crosshack. Now it's a top seller. So if you want to buy this book, we also have like sweet 30 copies in the front desk. So you can grab one and give me to sign. Thank you.